Hi, I'm Chrissy Hastings. I'm a senior charge midwife and a peer vaccinator. Well, it's actually particularly important for all health workers, doctors, nurses and midwives to get this vaccine because it's the best protection against this virus. And you also have to take account of the fact that you can actually not have any symptoms of this flu virus, but you can still be passing it on to others. I'm Natalie Christie, I'm a clinical advisor and I'm a peer vaccinator. The flu vaccine does not contain any live viruses and does not give you the flu. It can take about 10 days for it to get into your system and if you're unfortunate to get the flu or cold during that time, it's not because we've given it to you. A sore, achy arm is normal and it's a good sign to show that your immune system is kicking in. Hello, my name is Dr. Elaine Henry. I'm a consultant here at Nine Wells and I've been one of the team responsible for writing my winter plan. There's a lot of planning goes into getting the right vaccine for each year. We learn from what happens in Australia and we're able to plan and get the right vaccine to, to really attack this bug. People are very worried that they might be making themselves ill for no reason, but it's the single best thing you can do to protect yourself, making sure that you don't pass that bug onto your patients. I'm Sarah Wiseman, Senior Charge Nurse in Nine Mills Hospital and I'm also a peer vaccinator. Like all vaccines, the flu vaccine must be thoroughly tested before it's used in the UK. The flu vaccine has been used since the 1960s and in Scotland alone, over a million vaccines are given every year. Like all medicines, there can be some side effects, but they're generally very mild and don't need any treatment. I'm Jane Forbes, I'm Vaccine Programme Manager for Tayside and I'm also a staff flu peer in the ISA. Flu virus can change on a yearly basis and the types of flu viruses are circulating can change as well on a yearly basis. The flu vaccine each year is produced in relation to the types of flu viruses that are predicted to be the most dominant that are circulating that particular year. I think last winter really showed us that some really fit, healthy, well people were really sick. People ended up sometimes in intensive care and, and really ill. Folk were wiped out for five or six weeks and felt awful. But having the vaccine means that you'll protect yourself as well as we can against the bug. Keep you fit and well and not pass something else that might make you feel unwell that could make somebody else that catches it from you really sick. Colds and flu are caused by different viruses. Colds come on more slowly. First of all you get a runny nose, then you get a sore throat and then a cough. The flu hits you straight away and most commonly with a bad fever. It can lead to complications such as meningitis, bronchitis and pneumonia. It can also make some chronic conditions such as asthma and diabetes much worse. Protect yourself, protect your patients and protect the service.